Okay, this brings us to fungal diseases and antifungal medications. If you recall, we have used several mnemonics for the top tested, essentially, fungal diseases. SHABS is your mnemonic. C of the SHABS stands for coccidioides, candida, cryptococcus, neoformans, histoplasmosis, aspergillus, blastomyces, and sporothrix. Also, if you want another mnemonic for the C of the acronym SHABS, C for cutaneous fungi, such as tenia. I can give you also another mnemonic. You can use this alternative mnemonic, blotting patches, because some of these fungal diseases, especially the cutaneous ones, they cause red patches, and also most of these fungal diseases, they cause essentially redness of the skin. So blotting patches would be a good mnemonic. Now, B is going to be for blastomyces, and I have added this time paracoxidioidomycosis is not as much of a high-yield concept as coccidioidomycosis, but it's good to know a little about it. It's a very close ally of coccidioidomycosis. Then we have aspergillus, tenia, coccidioidomycosis, candida, cryptococcus, histoplasma, and the sporothrix. I have a who am I here for you. Let's see if you can figure out who is this character. You can spot me almost everywhere. 20 million women with vaginal infection know me quite well. Majority get introduced to me while working with three groups of my allies, antibiotics, steroids, and contraceptives. If I get into the mouth, I make white, creamy, exudative patches. I'm expert at causing diaper rash in infants, and I love traveling and disseminating into all organs of the AIDS patients. I love brood Budweiser. That's why they like to call me a budding yeast. I love to spread myself under the body heat. Those who catch me taking a body heat tan like to say that I'm pseudo-hyphenating on their bodies. What I hate mostly in my life are three exterminators. Amphoterrible, ketoconazole, and fluconazole. We can all make it together to scores well above 220 on the USMLE and 550 on the Comlex if you tell me now who am I. Yes, you're right. The correct answer was Canada. So this is, if you recall, from your microbiology checklist of our fungal diseases. Coccidioidomycosis, histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, aspergillosis, sporothrix, cryptococcus, candidiasis, and dermatophytes or cutaneous fungi. And this is your mnemonic for a sporothrix because the florists and gardeners, they get it from the thorns of the red rose. And this is going to be your histoplasmosis, bat droppings, and mesohio. And of course, coke is the mnemonic for our famous coccidioides, emetes. Let's look at the list of antifungal medications first. What does this picture tell you? You're looking at those fangs and you're looking at those fungi.
These are fangs attacking fungi. What does fang stand for? Fang stands for flu cytosine, F for flu cytosine, A for amphotricin or azole medications, N for niacin, G for griseofulvin. So fang is your mnemonic for antifungals. So there are five groups of antifungal medications and fang is your mnemonic. Just to know we have so many azole medications and they all end in azole such as fluconazole, myconazole, ketoconazole and clotrimazole. Let's start with amphotricin B. Amphotricin B binds to and destroys ergosterol. Ergosterol is the unique fungal membrane component. In a sense, is a cholesterol of the fungi. Since it destroys the cell wall in the fungi, it is fungicidal. It means that it kills the fungus because it makes the fungal membrane porous. An important note for your exam is the fact that amphotricin B does not pass through the blood-brain barrier. And if you have a patient with meningitis, for example, an AIDS patient who has meningitis with candidiasis, let's say, or cryptococcus neoformans, you have to apply this intrathecally. For all other systemic infections, we can use amphotricin B IV. I have a note here that ergosterol is similar to human cholesterol, but the good news is that amphotricin B has a very, very low affinity for cholesterol. Therefore, it selectively damages the fungi. So what are the indications of amphotricin B? We use it for systemic fungal infections, for cryptococcus, coccidioides, candida, histoplasma, aspergillus, and blastomyces. So shabs, we use it for the shabs. What are the side effects? The most important side effect is that severe nephrotoxicity. But as I said earlier, it can also cause hepato and neurotoxicity as well. That's why we also call this medication amphoterrible because it has terrible consequences for the body. It also causes acute febrile state, most likely due to histamine release. So the patients may have chills, may have hypotension, may get tachypnea. So in a sense, it causes anaphylactic situation in the patients. So to remember, amphotricin B has nephrotoxicity. You can recall that mnemonic.